Well, I'm joined now from West Palm Beach in Florida by Dr. Lisa Palmer, a psychotherapist who also knows President Trump. A very warm welcome to the program. Uh, look, nice we've seen to be real... on your show. <laughs> we've seen real reluctance, haven't we, from President Trump to wear a face mask? It's been a huge deal in the states. Lots of people just desperate for him to do it. Finally, he's done it. I'm sure he's not too happy about that fashion statement, but it's a necessary thing to do these days, for sure. I mean, it had been reported that President Trump was reluctant to wear a mask because he thought it would make him look weak. In fact, it even mocked his uh, opponent in the presidential campaign, Joe Biden, for wearing one. Yeah, well, we can't have a, you know, a do as I say, not as I do culture. And us civilians look to the president as a role model, and it's really important to wear a mask. So actually, when I saw him wearing it, I actually had to take a double take, like, who is that? But I was really glad and relieved to see that, especially as he's walking through a hospital. I do have um, friends at the White House who are part of the, the pool there, and they have reported that, you know, they, the White House has been taking precautions, um, very strict precautions. But I also think that it is, uh, you know, really important that the president of the United States does wear a mask and shows the rest of us I mean, that he can do it too. <laughs> and of course, the president will be continually checked for coronavirus given his age and his weight. Um, so in many ways, he doesn't need to because the only real reason scientists agree that you need to wear a face mask is if you're asymptomatic and don't really realise that you have the virus and could be passing it on. It's not really going to protect you. So it is really just symbolic, this move, isn't it? Well, I think it's important to protect your health and to protect other people's health. We have to put our health first. I'm in the field of health, so I truly believe in that. And I do believe that when we take care of ourselves personally, also our families and our communities, we can do better for ourselves, also for our society and ultimately our economy. So it is important. Uh, Dr. Palmer, let's talk about where you are in Florida. I mean, it's being seen as the sort of global epicenter of the virus at the moment. Um, and yet the, gov the governor there is reopening the state. Yesterday, we saw Disney World being reopened. The world's looking on in bafflement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, personally, I try to stay out of politics, but I do have concerns about that because it doesn't really make sense to me with numbers surging, how we can open parks and invite people to go out and to socialize. And it has been a problem. So hopefully our government officials can actually begin to look at the facts as much as we all want to get out. And we're so tired of quarantining. I know I want to travel. I want to do so many things. Ultimately, we have to take care of our health to take care of our economy, we have to look at the long-term benefits of doing that. I know that a lot of people are sick of staying home and they're tired of quarantining and they're, they're, they're having to face themselves at home and they're really tired of it, they wanna get out. But I wanna encourage people to take precautions and to take care of their health first because ultimately, like I said, it's going to be better for you and it's gonna be better for our economy long-term. And what's the mood of friends and family, colleagues around you in Florida, as I say, with the eyes of the world watching as things get really bad there? The mood is frustrated. A lot of people want to actually leave Florida. I know some of my patients have left Florida and some of my friends have been embarking on their travels. Uh, I have a little hesitation about that personally, but there is definitely a sense of frustration here as people struggle with figuring out how to mediate these new conditions in their life and, and cope. Um, so again, I want to you know, reinforce taking safety precautions and putting your health first because that is most important. Health is wealth and without our health, we have nothing. Look, the president, of course, free to move throughout uh, lockdown, throughout the virus. You are a friend of his. You often rub shoulders just down the road at Mar-a-Lago in Florida. Do you ever mm -hmm. have a word with him about how you think the government's doing during the virus? Well, I know that the government and, like I said, some of my friends actually who travel with the president in the media pool who report to me almost on a daily basis tell me that there are precautions that are heavy precautions that are being taken within the White House to test the president and everybody around him and all the media pool. And that's all, you know, fine and dandy. But for us and for people watching at home, I think it's really important that the president is showing that 
that he is relating to the American people and so many of us that are wearing a mask and struggling with this. And like I said before, this is not a fashion statement. This is a real deal. And we have to protect ourselves, protect each other so that we can have a better economy and not just look at the short term of what is happening with the economy, but also look at the long term of taking care of our health. Because like I said, health is wealth. And look, as a psychotherapist, uh, having President Trump as a friend, that must be truly fascinating. It is, but to be honest with you, I've actually distanced from that just because of all of the divisiveness, and I tried to stay away from politics. I did at one point regularly um, affiliate myself with Trump more in a um, personal level. But since everything has happened with the, the you know, political situation, I have personally decided to distance myself and um, try to look at things from a more neutral perspective. Understood. Well, you never know. President Trump may leave politics one day. I'd love to hear your thoughts then. Thanks ever so much for coming on the show. <laughs> Dr Lisa Palmer, all the best. Thanks for having me. Now, to politics here in the UK, where a lot has happened